Make your captions in Final Cut Pro problem-free in just eight easy steps. I'll show you how to quickly add captions with a keyboard shortcut and the right way to customize your captions. Stick around till the end to avoid those obnoxious validation errors. All right, the first step is to choose your caption format. In Final Cut Pro, in the timeline, in the left-hand side, click on Index, then click on Edit Roles, and then click on Captions. You'll see we have a caption role already here. Let's add another one. I'll click on Caption Role, and here I can select my formats. ITT is for iTunes, YouTube, and Vimeo. SRT is for Facebook, YouTube, and Vimeo. And then CEA is an industry standard for broadcast and web videos. So let's use that format. I'll click on that and it creates a new caption role. I can change the name of it right here. It has the name selected and I can change it if I want. I don't want to, but if I ever do want to change it, all I have to do is select it and I can change the name. I can add another language to it. You'll see by default it added English because that's my default language on my computer. And then I can collapse this to make it more concise. I don't want this role here, so I'll just press the minus sign and it will delete it from the captions and then I'll click apply. And then it asks, are you sure you want to remove the ITT caption role? Yes, continue, and it's gone. Okay, now we're ready to add captions to our video. So I'm gonna move the playhead where I want my captions to start, right here. And then I'll go up here to edit and I'll go down here to captions and I'll select add caption. Or I'll press option C to quickly add a caption wherever my playhead is. And now I can start to add my text. All right, we've got our first caption in there and I can create another caption by pressing option C and adding the rest of my text. I can also add another caption when the caption editor is open by pressing control option C and it adds another caption at the end of the previous one. Another way is to hold down option and then control click and drag on my caption to create a new one. If I want to edit the text, all I have to do is just double click on the caption and it pops up the text editor. And then I can just change my text, no problem. Once I've changed it, I'll press escape to make that editor go away. I can navigate quickly between captions using these arrows. So I can go to a previous caption and it brings up this and I can now change my text. Or I can use the right arrow to go to the next caption. I can hide these captions both in the viewer and in the timeline. I'll go back to the index and make sure I'm on rolls. And then I can deactivate captions by clicking this check mark here. It turns off the captions in the viewer and then it deactivates them in the timeline. If I want to hide my captions right here in the timeline, I just press this collapse button here and it hides the captions, but I still see them in the viewer. If you click on captions here, you can now search or find captions in your list. So I can search for AVCHD and it will show me all of the captions that have that word in it. Then I can double click on it and it will open up the editor in the timeline. If I have any errors in my captions, the caption will turn red here and it will also be red here in this list. And if I click on view errors, it shows me just the ones with errors. And then when I select on it, it will open up the inspector and it will give me the error here and tell me what to do to fix it. In this case, the timing is off. I need to move the caption two frames later because it's too close to the beginning of the project. And you see when I moved it, it went from red to blue. You can edit the caption text by double clicking on a caption and it pulls up the editor and you can add your text right away. I can also select a caption and edit it in the inspector. If the inspector isn't open over here on the right hand side, just press this button right here with the three sliders or press command four to open it. And now I can edit the text right in the inspector. Time out. Are my tips making sense? Are you ready to add some captions? If I'm doing a good job, will you please let me know by giving this video a thumbs up? Thanks, I really appreciate it. And in just a little bit, I'm gonna show you how to avoid those validation errors. But first, let's see how we can adjust and arrange captions in Final Cut Pro. I can adjust and arrange and trim captions just like any other clip in Final Cut Pro. I'll select the caption and I'll drag it left or right to move its timing. And then I can also trim the end of it to make it shorter or longer. And I can do the same for the beginning. If I select a caption and press Control D, I can use the time code to change the duration. This is hours, this is minutes, this is seconds, and this is frames. Let's say I want this to just be one second long, so I'll enter one zero zero and press enter. And now my caption is just one second long. I can select my caption and then move the playhead where I want to trim the end and press option right bracket and it will trim the end of the caption. I can also do that for the beginning by pressing option left bracket. I can use the blade tool as well to chop up a caption. I'll hold and press B to bring up the blade tool and I can cut my captions with the blade tool. And now I can move them around. If I press T and go in between two captions, I can do what's called a roll edit and I can click and drag to the left or right. And that will make one caption shorter and the other longer. This is a great way to fine tune your timing. 
You'll see in this one, I have multiple lines here. If I want, I can split that caption into two separate captions, splitting the lines. Select the clip, right click on it, and select split captions. And you'll see it split it into two captions here and it put one sentence in the first and then the bottom sentence in the second. If I want to join captions, I'll just select the two I want to join, right click and I'll select join captions. And it puts them into just one caption clip that I can move around. Sometimes you might have captions overlap like so and they'll turn red. You can't have overlapping captions. So here's how to fix it. First, you can just move the captions so that they don't overlap anymore or you can trim a caption so that they don't overlap anymore, or select your captions that overlap and go up to edit captions and select resolve overlaps. And then it will automatically trim it and line them up so that they don't overlap anymore. To format your captions, select the caption and then go to the inspector. Here we can change all sorts of things. We can change the alignment and make it centered or right side or left. We can also change the placement. Where do we want this to go? We can go to the top, the bottom, the left hand side, the right hand side, the middle, all sorts of choices. We can also change the animation style and we can add italics or underline and we can change the text color. We can change the background opacity and we can change the background color. There we go. All right, if you want to create a new caption in another language, right click on the caption you wanna change and select duplicate captions in new language. Let's do Spanish. I know Mexican Spanish, muy bien. It creates a new caption in Spanish and now all I have to do is double click on it and select my text and put in the translation. Hola, soy Dylan. Now let's export our captions. We'll go up to File and select Export Captions. We'll give our caption file a name and we'll select where we want to save it. And then we can select Export. I can also export the video with the captions. So I'll press Command E to export and I'll go to Settings and this looks good to me. And then we'll go to Roles. Here you'll see it has my video track and my captions are in here. What do I want to embed in there? I'll select my captions here and press OK. And that will now put the caption into the video file. Then I'll press Next and name it and press Save. So captions and titles are different in Final Cut Pro. Captions are always on your video and they're on top of everything, including titles, effects, and clips. And typically viewers can turn captions on and off. Also captions have standards that you have to meet and titles don't do any of that. Titles are meant to spice up your video. And if you wanna learn how to add titles to Final Cut Pro, check out these three easy steps in this video.